Welcome back to the Survival Gardener Minute. I'm David the Good. Today's question is from the family AK, who says that he threw some uh, cantaloupe seeds into the compost pile and they've started coming up. So when you gut a cantaloupe and throw it in there, will that produce cantaloupes? The answer is yes. Now, the thing is, is when you buy store-bought plants, a lot of farmers plant hybrids, which will give them consistent production. They know exactly what they're going to get. They don't like to play around with, maybe I'll get some small ones, maybe I'll get some big ones, maybe I'll get some bland ones, maybe I'll get some nice marketable ones, but some of them are going to be too soft, etc., so on and so forth. They want consistency of results, which is why hybrids are, are a thing. You know, when they figure out you can cross these two plants and you can get exactly the same thing every single time, at least for the F1 generation, you do it. So, yes, they will produce cantaloupes. As a matter of fact, some of the best produce that I've ever grown has shown up in my compost pile. I have planted commercial cantaloupe seeds and gotten cantaloupes, and they were good. Um, and they, they range in size. You may get a little bigger ones. You may get a little smaller ones. You may get some that aren't so good. But hey, you let a few of them grow and see how they do. And if you have one of them that tastes really good, save the seeds from that and you can kind of maintain the variety. I do the same thing with tomatoes. I have got tomatoes right now showing up in the uh, gray water drain where the kitchen sink runs out and they are making nice little tomato plants. So some people will be like, no, get rid of that, man. It's probably some sort of a, a hybrid. You know, you might not get something good. But I'm always curious to see how the genetics work themselves out. I mean, plants have an incredible array of genetics in them. And so just because, you know, there are some chances that you might just get a variety that was selected for its disease resistance and not, and not its flavor. So you might get something that's not, that's kind of bland, but it doesn't get sick, you know? Um, that doesn't mean that you're not going to get one that has good flavor or something that has great flavor or something completely unique and different because each individual that you're getting there is a unique genetic individual. So you want to just go ahead and let them go, let them go. I mean, it's it's fun. That sort of thing in the garden, that sort of garden experiment, I think is, is one of the big joys of gardening is just seeing what happens. This is why I grow seedling peaches. This is why I mess around with tomato varieties this year or look for the bean plant that's doing something interesting and then replant the seeds. You know, it's fun and you see what happens. And really, if you just let stuff grow out of the compost pile and you never transplant it, just thin around it, keep it weeded and let it grow and maybe move the other part of your compost pile over, you know, um, those plants often do really, really well because they're growing exactly where they want to grow and they have tons of fertility. So go ahead, have fun. Let them grow. You're probably going to get cantaloupes, uh, weather and care permitting. Thanks for watching. Catch me on the web at thesurvivalgardener.com. I appreciate all you guys and leave your questions below. Like and subscribe because I'm going to be doing this thing every day through the ongoing apocalypse. Catch you later.